Well, when we have a, uh, a new client join us, uh, you know, that hasn't had government contracts before, uh, we'll ask them what their rate was when they submitted their first proposal. And a lot of times we'll hear things like, well, my overhead was 20%, my overhead was 25%, I had a G&A of 5%, and we know right away that, uh, that there's something missing from, from the equation. So over on the left, a sample a new contract, a calculation, this is kind of what we see. Uh, the person will put all of their salary up under direct labor. I have some payroll taxes, some health insurance, uh, some supplies maybe, and they end up with, uh, to, to simplify, I'm using a one-rate system, they end up somewhere around 26% uh, as overhead. The reality is, if you have your first contract, uh, you're going to need to do bids to, to get your second contract. And if you're spending zero time, like in the, the, the left-hand example, doing bids and proposals, th that contract will pretty much be it. You know, you'll, uh, you'll be out of work and then starting over again uh, to bid. So on the right, what I've done is add some just basic uh, items. So the direct labor is actually chargeable direct labor that are being billed to contracts. So now we've gone from uh, 104000 to seventy five two. I've highlighted in blue where the rest of that 104000 is. Uh, typically under vacation and holidays, you may have four weeks, so that's $8,000 charged to overhead. Uh, I'm assuming at least, you know, I'm assuming here 10%, but it's often more for doing bids for new work. Uh, and the, the third uh, aspect is administrative time. If it's a one-person organization, they still have to go to the bank. They still have to meet with attorneys, meet with accountants. Uh, th there's, going to be, uh, there's going to be time that isn't spent working for your customer, and that's what we're accounting for there. It's also likely that would be some continuing professional education. There'll be some local travel to go to your accountant, your attorney, to your customer's site, uh, and there also may be a travel outside uh, to, to do marketing outside of the, the state or outside of the region. So you can see what a difference there is. On the left-hand side, we're at 26%. Uh, we quickly went from 26 to 84%. Uh, this is a very basic summary, and I put at the bottom some of the items that are very common that are missing. Uh, depreciation on equipment, you're going to need a computer, you'll need office furniture, uh, legal and accounting fees, ret a retirement plan. So if you're leaving another organization that probably had a retirement plan, you probably want to somehow match that. Uh, business meals, whether you're taking customers to lunch or you're taking... Uh, new prospective employees, I should be beginning to hire. Uh, but I'll, I'll let you read the rest of the list, but uh, getting from 26 to, to 84% is very easy. It's likely that this rate is well over 100%, even just as you're starting the company.